My name is Robert Mara, and I am the director and choreographer of The World Goes Round. My name is Tannis Hansen, and I am the producer of The World Goes Round at the Actors Co-op. I would describe The World Goes Round as a lovely musical journey, which highlights the beautiful music of Candor and Ebb, and we meet seven characters in a coffee shop, one day out of their lives, and we get to know them. And what's interesting is the way that the characters interact throughout the story, whether they have a short history together in this one moment in the coffee shop or whether they've been seeing each other for months and months, how they come together and then how they're also just separate in their own separate worlds. Kristen Heitman who plays the coffee shop girl and she works there and she's a lovely sweet girl originally from the Midwest who moved to New York to be an artist and she's having some relationship issues right now and that's how we meet her. Then there's Jeremiah Lauder he plays the coffee shop girl's boyfriend, and we meet him at the beginning of the show, and we can tell that they're obviously having some sort of argument, and we're not sure what's going on, but their story unfolds as we watch the show. Then there's the customers in the coffee shop. First there is Sayla Victor, and Sayla plays your typical suburban housewife, and we come to find out that She's a little frustrated in her marriage and they're having some troubles and she's trying to handle that and deal with it. Then another one of the customers is the businessman and that's played by Michael D'Elia. And Michael's character is sort of socially awkward but lovable and adorable. Doesn't really feel like he fits in, doesn't know how to talk to people. But we learn that he does in the end, which is really nice. Another one of the characters is Bob Lauer, and he plays the older man who frequents the coffee shop probably on a daily basis. And he knows the coffee girl, he's been coming here for years, it's right in his neighborhood, and he's sort of a staple there. And then the other customer is played by Carrie Madsen, and she plays a well-to-do socialite, dressed to the nines, who on the surface you'd think has everything and wants for nothing, but as her story unfolds you realize that's only a facade. And the last character in the show is played by Gina DeCharo and she plays a homeless woman who just happens to choose outside the coffee shop as her favorite location and she is also the only character that sees everything that goes on and has a much better philosophy as far as life goes than anybody else. I think people are going to most enjoy that they get to watch the story unfold without any dialogue through not only the song lyrics but most importantly through the characters actions throughout throughout the story throughout the night. What I think people will enjoy most about watching the world goes round is if they're familiar with Kander and Ebb's music they will be seeing these songs told in a whole new way by completely new characters. I also think that the journeys of these characters are very relatable. That anyone who comes to see the show will absolutely identify with one of the characters at some point during the show. These actors are so strong as singers and actors and the audiences will be moved emotionally many times over you will be taken on this journey and follow their stories as if you were watching a play, along with hearing some glorious music. The World Goes Round runs through Sunday, October 14th at the Actors Co-op in Hollywood. Tickets may be purchased on the Actors Co-op website, www.actorscoop.org.